Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Miyajima from Japan Airlines. Uh, uh, this is the first time for me to join this the Pros Outperform conference. Uh, uh, I'm happy to be here and uh, I would appreciate for Pros uh, giving me this opportunity to present uh, in this the community. Uh, <clears throat> my presentation is not something about the leading company of uh, RM, but uh, 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 our story to catch up the industry practice, best practice. I'm going to the present in this order. Uh, number one, uh, I'm uh, uh, going to uh, explain the uh, uh, overview of uh, Japan Airlines, and uh, next one is the RM strategy before and after the process implementation. And the third one is the uh, business implement after the uh, 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 implementation. And uh, our last one is the future challenge. <clears throat> I'll start with the uh, uh, introduction of Japan Airlines. Uh, this chart shows the, our global network, international network, including the uh, our code share flight with our partner. The, I request the public relationship department to give us the simpler the loot map the, with only the uh, operating flight, but uh, they that tended to uh, show ourselves bigger. And I'm sorry for that. And uh, we have a, a global network reaching uh, uh, more than 344 airports. Uh, in more than uh, 55 countries. <clears throat> and uh, the, regarding our, our global network, I'm going from the bottom. <clears throat> uh, uh, we announced, Japan Airlines announced the, uh, our midterm business strategy recently, uh, which said uh, uh, we are going to expand our network the, from 344 airport to the 500 airport in coming 10 years. And next one is the, uh, uh, we operate uh, 30,000 price plus flight a month, uh, which consists of 85% uh, of uh, domestic flight and 50% uh, of international flight. And we posted the net profit of uh, uh, 1.7 uh, billion US dollars for fiscal year 2017, and uh, uh, our, the sales is the balance between the international and domestic. And uh, uh, fourth breath, uh, JMB, our mileage program, uh, has reached over 31 million uh, members worldwide. And uh, we awarded uh, our world most punctual mega airline in 2017. Uh, our punctuality KPI within the 15 minutes of uh, flight arrival was the 85.27 percent last year. And uh, so as you may know, they will have very special character in Japan. Uh, we are paranoid in punctuality. So uh, actually, the, our railway uh, company, their KPI measurement is the 15, within 15 seconds of the arrival or departure of every train at every station, that we request the pros for the same punctuality in executing their project. <laughs> okay, so oh, let's move on to the uh, RM strategy before and after. Uh, my presentation is a little bit uh, masochistic. Uh, uh, we compressed the uh, IT investment before 2010, and our own mindset was very defensive. Okay. So do you have a strategy or just reacting? Uh, this was my own question to myself in 2010. Uh, we didn't have any the strategy, but simply reacting to the others in the history. And uh, I personally disliked this phrase and uh, developed our uh, Thailand plan uh, uh, to change our own mindset in 2010 uh, when uh, I came to current position. Uh, I understand uh, we have not caught up with the uh, top group in, the, in terms of RM practice 
And uh, this phase was just starting point of a uh, project challenge. Uh, this uh, chart shows our organization as of uh, 2010. Uh, we used uh, two different RMS, one for the international and the other for the domestic. And, uh, uh, for many years, uh, until 2014. And uh, there was no discussion or question about the integration of those two RMS. Uh, Left-hand side showed the international uh, business division, and the right-hand side showed the uh, uh, domestic business division. Uh, the structure looks the symmetry at a glance, but uh, it actually uh, there was a, a crack between uh, both departments, and uh, each department functioned as if two separate airlines. Uh, the physical distance was uh, just 20 meters. Uh, it is still 20 meters uh, today. Uh, but uh, the psychological distance was the uh, uh, thousand kilometers between two departments. And uh, 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 the problem was uh, that no one uh, wanted to change the situation. That is the uh, problem. <clears throat> And next one is the uh, uh, RM personnel. Uh, we used to have a unique HR strategy, uh, the which aimed to grow the generalist rather than specialist or professionals. And uh, every staff was rotated every three to four years uh, in general. The, for instance, the RM staff could, could be transferred to sales department or airport department or accounting department, even the legal department. And uh, uh, next bullet, the RM personnel used to have a substantial experience with the airline, but mostly airport reservation background and the lack of strategic and uh, analytical background. And the leadership part was the heavily weighted uh, towards technical experience, the, not the adequate mixture of analytical and the business minded. And as third bullet, uh, RM process used to heavily rely on the individual RM personal experience and uh, not standardized. And uh, 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 last bullet, the, all the personnel that used to separate between international and domestic. And uh, 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 analysts uh, uh, could not move easily from the international to domestic or vice versa. And uh, this made not only the staff uh, uh, the allocation uh, uh, but also the communication, interaction the, between the both parties difficult. The, actually, but the, so there was uh, no formal training required the, in, the, the, in the past because the, every newcomer did not need to learn okay, the mechanism of RM and uh, uh, analytical methodology, but simply sit next to the skillful uh, makeup artist of a uh, face of inter, uh, Inventory, and uh, uh, I, I, I can I move down? No. So I didn't like this this situation, and uh, uh, this slide showed the how the our RM, the analyst that used to spend their working time every day. Uh, only 20% of uh, their uh, working time uh, used to be allocated to the RM the activities, and the remaining 80% allocated to the inventory activities, such as the uh, overbooking adjustment or upsell adjustment by their sense, by manual. And uh, <clears throat> as I explained, uh, since RM personnel at the time had substantial the uh, uh, airport reservation experience and uh, lacked the strategic and analytical background. So they didn't tend to pay their attention to RM, but uh, tend to pay with the inventory. They, I thought they should allocate more time uh, to the uh, RM activities. So does anyone have sympathy with me? No. So uh, Japan Airlines seems to be the worst. But anyway, I, I wanted to change the situation. 
And uh, the next slide is the uh, practice, business practice, uh, and workflow. And the uh, uh, top one show the international the workflow, and the bottom one show the domestic the workflow. And uh, RMS A the control the whole life of uh, our international flight, starting uh, DP 330 till DP 1. And uh, RMS B, the control the whole life of the domestic flight starting from DP 150 till DP 0. Uh, international, the business workflow uh, 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 follows the international standard practice, such as the uh, uh, IATA sort of coordination. But the domestic side, uh, for instance, the, as you see, the schedule finalization at the DP 60 is not the international standard, but the Japan domestic standard. So uh, to resolve all this, the issue that we developed Thailand plan in 2010. And uh, our Thailand plan that consists of a two part short term plan and the long term plan. And I explained that with two different RMS and uh, worked as if two different airlines. IT system was different, and the role and the responsibility was different, and the business practice was different across the international and domestic. And because of that, I saw lots of unproductive arguments that are happening between the two uh, divisions every day. So I didn't like such situation, and uh, in order to get out of that situation, uh, I thought we need to uh, integrate uh, both uh, RMS into the single platform. Uh, to make this happen, that we needed to change the HR uh, organization structure and uh, business practice in advance of uh, IT system integration. That is our short-term plan. Uh, short-term plan uh, did not cover IT system integration. Uh, uh, in this phase, uh, in this phase, that we listened to uh, a lot of external expertise, and the long-term plan that covered IT system integration. This is our achievement up to today. Uh, we spent two years from 2010 till the 2012 uh, to unify business process as much as possible. And after that, uh, we took up a system integration uh, project in 2012 and managed to integrate both RMS to the OD3 in 2014. And uh, uh, at that time, the, uh, uh, we introduced the OD forecast. And after that, uh, we migrated our in-house PSS to Amadeus in 2017, uh, last year. And at the time of PSS migration, the, we abolished the subclass and uh, introduced the bit price and the MSC control. Uh, before PSS migration, the, we differentiated AU availability by post, the, which was represented by a subclass in inventory. And uh, uh, in order to abolish the subclass, we definitely needed to move to the bit price control all at once, not to gradual the uh, shift from uh, uh, AU to BP or uh, leg seg to OD. And uh, uh, PSS vendor in the pros uh, strongly recommended us not to take the big one approach, but uh, we took. We didn't listen to pros. Okay? Actually, the, uh, the, the RMS vendor and also the PSS vendor, they didn't have any experience to carry out the big pan approach, to take a big pan approach. Uh, therefore, they said big pan approach was too risky, but uh, uh, I didn't listen to them. And uh, uh, what happened? Uh, uh, actually, we saw lots of uh, uh, troubles in the PSS migration. But the, uh, our project, I mean the RMS uh, area, didn't have any problem at all. And uh, the RMS the, uh, part is the, was the most peaceful uh, sub-project among all the PSS-related uh, projects. <clears throat> and ne next one is the business improvement. The HR uh, RM analyst was replaced by fresh guy. Uh, they don't have any uh, uh, airport or reservation background. And also that we designate the demand analyst, flight analyst, and the price analyst. And uh, organization structure, okay, frame itself, uh, 
uh, remain unchanged. But uh, uh, everything becomes the symmetry, including the uh, uh, role and the responsibility. Uh, thanks to that, the, we don't see any unproductive un argument, the, which we saw a lot before the integration. And uh, for business practice, the, everything was visualized, standardized, and simplified. And uh, RMS was replaced by PROS. Okay. Uh, the reason why uh, I'm here is to speak this phrase before audience. So I don't get any money, any money from PROS, but uh, I'm sure the PROS can buy my lunch tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it is the, uh, usually very difficult to quantify the uh, uh, RM performance, and it sometimes makes us irritated. But I'm quite confident that our challenge that contribute to the big proportion of our net profit. Uh, last slide is the uh, future challenge. Uh, uh, we made as one that steady, steady step ahead, but uh, we just started to experience the new type of the related issue, uh, including the MSC break flout and uh, AV cell match issue. Uh, these issues are a new target of our challenge, but uh, uh, take it easy and uh, enjoy keep changing. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> <laughs>